Hey guys, this is the one and only Sonic Ranger back with another video review of Epic Proportions and today we're going back to Transformers Titans Return with the next deluxe class figure in my hands and that is Autobot Hardhead with his Titan Master name Furos. So, let's go ahead and get this out of the way because I know a lot of people complain that my videos are just too long because I go through every last freaking detail on the packaging which is obviously a part of these video reviews when I've got them so having said that I'm going to do this in record timing so here's the front here's the back the end I hope you are happy now as I just lost maybe five to ten subscribers for that so Anyway, I also hope you appreciate the background. I know a lot of people were complaining about the white not really coming through when it comes to these video reviews, making the figures look dark upon reviewing them. And I've tried to adjust it as best as I could, and white just doesn't work for these kind of cameras. So having said that, I've gone up with a little vibrant color here with orange, yellow, and pink, which is the back of this placemat so you're not going to be able to see it anyway anyway having said that back to the figure at hand so hardhead it's tank mode looks good 60 frames per second it looks great so uh it's a cool figure it's a cool tank mode why am i not in love with this then well I don't know, I, I think it's just lacking thereof. What, paint applications? No, I don't think it's that. I think that there's enough paint to break up what's going on here. And by that I mean there's enough colored plastic to break up what's really going on here. So, it does look good. I do like the uh, clear, translucent, orange color window here for the cockpit. Which is a bitch to open up, at least on my figure. You gotta have fingernails in order to do it, at least on mine. And take a little Titan Master here, which name is Furos. Sit him in there like so, close it up, and now he's piloting Hardhead. So there you have that. You also got this hole right here on his cannon, which you can take the gun for robot mode and store it right there. And now he's dual blasting. So there's that. That's pretty cool. There's also something else you can do, which I'll go ahead and show you anyway. So take out the little Titan Master. Show off the little Titan Master real quickly. So there you have your look at Puros. Transformation. There you go. There's that. Pointing back as the Titan Master though. See him right here for a second. Turn this gun. You can open up this little piece here. And put the Titan Master on the inside here like it's another cockpit. And then you can turn that to the front, and now it looks like the Titan Master is using the guns here. That's a little loose. Wasn't like that earlier. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I've been doing one too many retakes on this, so put him in robot mode real quickly and get this off. Close this back up. Only other thing to really talk about for this tank mode is the fact that it does roll, but the treads are not what's going on here. It's actually just these translucent wheels here, the same color as the cockpit, which does break up the bottom here. Not much robot going on here. It's pretty nice. Hardly any cable. I like that. Very nice and clean. Though it is quite hollow. But, you know, you damn you do and you damn you don't. So, it does roll pretty nicely without any friction. So... Having said that, let's do some size comparisons so we can move on. So bring in Blur and Scourge here, just for the size comparisons in vehicle form. And there you got that. He's a good standard size deluxe figure of today's standards. So there's that. The transformation on this guy, well, it could be troublesome at first, but, you know, after a while you do get used to it. So just split that part, split this apart. Lift up the gun real quickly, so now we can work down here, flip up the obvious crotch piece, separate the legs from the actual peg system here, and then collapse these together to form the bottom of his legs, flip up the obvious feet like so, and then stand him up real quickly so I can readjust the camera to your liking, whether you like it or not, so there's that. 
take this whole back section and flip it up like so so you can actually peg this into place which is obviously the front and then do that do it one more time with this back piece here which is on a tight hinge and then you're gonna tab it in on the bottom like so and there you've got his backpack and there you got his front bring down the obvious shoulders but before you do that flip out the obvious hands come, come on there's that and then bring out the elbows because this all does collapse pretty well for tank mode but there you go there's the obvious robot mode and here's the obvious head for the titan master and tab it in i said tab in huh it's stuck hang on one second come on man there we go so there you got that so there is hardhead in his robot mode and here's his blaster which you know it looks good for what it is it's just a lime green color and hollow on this side not much else to talk about for the blaster but robot mode is pretty sweet i do dig it i really do like it and i like the fact that this counts as a gimmick here you can actually take hardhead's head get him out of the way and bring up the cannon for the shoulder cannon which is nice and it is articulated it's on a double hinge here so you can get it to rotate and it does come off and you can put it in his hands but my figure's got some weak elbow joints so he's not really going to hold it too well and i'm not even going to bother so there's that articulation on the guy is simple enough a ball jointed head thanks to the titan master but due to the fact that this clip here is very weak just like on scorch he is a bobblehead unfortunately and that's about enough of that he's got a hinge on the shoulder here so that allows some more movement for in and out movement because the ball joint inside the shoulder is actually hindered everywhere so you can still get a good rotation around a good 360 but you really can't go up and down but thanks to the hinge you can so there's that bicep rotation always nice double jointed elbows you get more than 90 degrees if you work with it wrists are on a rotation as well that's something that a lot of deluxe figures seem to be missing these days no waist rotation unfortunately due to transformation but why bother anyway legs are ball jointed going up and back they do go in and out there's a thigh joint here so you get a good rotation there's single jointed knees but they do go to 90 degrees which is nice and the feet pivot up and down because they're on a hinge and it's also due to transformation so a lot of articulation on this deluxe class figure so i'm not really going to complain about that uh the kibble on the back you know it's backpack yeah it looks okay i know some people will complain about it but i'm not going to bother with it it looks actually pretty good especially when you put the shoulder cannon up and i mean that just looks a lot better it really does he, he's a pretty cool figure there's just not really much to talk about on this guy because everything that has been said has been said so Having said that, let's go ahead and do one size comparisons in robot mode to wrap up this video review. So bringing in, obviously, the overdone Transformer fan character, which is Windblade. You guys brought it on yourself, you know that. So pushing him back a little bit so we can get a close by close size comparisons. And Hardhead is actually a little taller than Windblade. So, you know, a couple of years in the past compared to a figure these days it's not bad it looks like the deluxe class figures have gained an inch or so so awesome i dig it and i do like his tank mode i do like his robot mode so there's not much else to really say about this guy i do recommend him he does look good and the uh, color choices on robot mode are very good so you got more yellow you got more red and a little bit of silver so there's that you also got blue for the visor and yellow for uh you know his mouthpiece and that's that's it i mean everything else is pretty much the same color that was going on for tank mode but the figure overall i really am impressed i do dig him and i truly do recommend him there's no ands ifs or buts about him if you don't buy him well you'll be regretting that later on because he really is a cool figure so questions comments you know to do leave it down below in the comment section of this video hopefully this video review wasn't too long for your taste if you like the video review hit the thumbs up button if you didn't like it well 
I'll have to try harder. And if you haven't already, why not hit that subscribe button for more video reviews just like the one you're reviewing today from the reviewing station. This is the one and only Sonic Ranger signing off. Thanks for watching and I'll see you whenever you see me.